Hi, and welcome to Expanse Inspirations. Press your way right on in, and remember, regardless, press your way with prayer throughout your day. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I welcome you all. It's my prayer that the scriptures and variety and shorts that's posted on this channel be in a helping and uplifting to you or someone close to you. To my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for listening. It's by God's grace and glory and the belief in Christ that you all stay here with me. So today, let's talk about it. Persecuted. What comes to mind when you think of persecution? The primary scripture of focus today is going to be Matthew 5, 8 through 12. You know, Christianity has proven itself unstoppable. It has proven to be unstoppable. Despite mistreatment, persecution, and even mishap and mayhem in the churches, it still continues to grow. Even today around the world, thousands of believers are killed each year because of their beliefs. Others have their property confiscated and some are being tortured and raped. Yes, it's amazing that in the face of such heartache and pain, Christianity is actually stronger in these parts of the world than any other areas which allow religious freedom. As difficult as persecution can be, the Bible offers hope to those who stand strong and faithfully endure. Jesus said to the believers who are persecuted, insulted, and falsely accused, he says, blessed, you are blessed because the reward in heaven is great. That's Matthew 5, 10 through 12. Although Christianity has been under attack for God knows how long, it will survive until Jesus comes to take all of his followers out of this evil world. Why does Christianity strike such a negative reaction. I'm glad you asked me. You know, blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. A righteous life is a threat to a dark world. Christians who live in obedience of God to God are light to expose the darkness of sinful practices. The Apostle Paul pointed out the connection between holiness and persecution. Here's what he said. Indeed, all who desire to live godly in Christ will be persecuted. 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Christ, you know, Christian, being Christian and Christians is, a, is not only dangerous, it's, it's very dangerous. It could result in death. For those who, those who are living in freer societies, harassment comes from the forms of insults, criticism, discrimination, and exclusion. Whenever persecution comes, no matter how severe or mild, every believer must decide whether to compromise in order to avoid trouble or stand firm and endure. That's a decision you got to make. Now let's talk about the purpose of persecution. You know, persecution is meant to hurt and silence Christians. God uses it to accomplish his good purpose by the way of it. And I'm going to share four reasons with you and the, stri the scripture, excuse me. It allows us to share the suffering of Christ. First Peter 4 and 13. Secondly, it tests our loyalty. Thirdly, it furthers the gospel. Philippians 1 and 12. And fourthly, enables us to encourage others undergoing persecution. Say it louder, Shauna, for those in the back and those up further up there that don't hear you. It enables us to encourage others undergoing persecution at that time. And lastly, the proper response to persecution. I'll drop these three on you for free. The first one is stand strong. Standing strong. The strength to withstand persecution comes from the Lord. We stand strong in him based on everything he said in his word. 
Ephesians 6 and 10. Enduring opposition. This means we abide under the prosecution, persecution. Or in the, today's language, we hang in there and rely on God's strength. God's strength until he moves us out of that situation. 